round two of this Survivor Series main event. What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug. We are back with some more Road to Glory and some Baron Corbin. And I, I kind of want to know what the challenges are for the main event. So I'm going to hop in here, beat Baron Corbin, and then find out what those challenges are and perhaps unlock that snake mask thing that I'm never going to wear, but why not? So, Big Baron, let's do this. Now, originally, I thought those challenges were perhaps a bit ridiculous, right? Four-star matches and two signatures and that kind of thing. But actually playing it, what I learned was, people have uh, who actually want to qualify are more inclined to cooperate and put on some good matches in Road to Glory, unlike the ones that just do move spam and because uh, doing the same move over and over again won't get you those stars and you won't qualify for that stuff. So I will say kudos to those of you who I fought uh, in Road to Glory in the last several days. Uh, outside of that one time when they matched me with somebody who had like a thousand stars and actually got out of the prospect section into the superstar section, clearly a mismatch where he's played way more hours than I ever did. And, uh, spoiler, I lost pretty hard. So that one, unfortunately, not on video. But, take my word for it. It was, uh, it was pretty bad. So, anyway, Baron Corbin, with your many, many zippers on your pants, let's go. Just how many pockets do your pants need, Baron Corbin? What are you carrying? They need so many pockets in your pants. I don't understand. I don't understand, Lone Wolf. I don't get it. So, yeah, um, been playing a bit more and, uh, mostly had some good luck. Uh, in the previous day in terms of, uh, the networking and that, 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 uh, that, that, that stuff working. Like, I was spending, you know, five minutes or so looking for a match instead of, you know, 15 or 20, which is always nice. Even at, like, 8 in the morning, I was having some alright stuff going on. Also, I'm hitting reversal and it's like, nope, nah, son. Baron Corbin gonna give you a problem, son. That's just how it's gonna go. So, I'm definitely uh, more optimistic than I was uh, going into, you know, the launch of Road to Glory and all that stuff. So, as someone who does not play a whole lot of online stuff, uh, when it works, it works alright. Now, occasionally, it don't work. So, uh, I'm not going to give them 100% thumbs up on that stuff. But, like, I was having some good matches last night, and uh, I'm quite pleased with that. Quite pleased! But... As with anything, it's an ongoing situation, and we'll see. Really? Really? Baron Corbin here uh, is not playing around, and they've jacked up his difficulty because... I mean, well, Baron's going to be harder than Enzo because it's Baron Corbin and, and Enzo, right? I get that. But also, the game has a number of difficulties, and it's not super clear when you fight these, you know, Road to Glory matches what that is. Like, it's one thing to fight a human player because that's going to be on their skill level, and you would hope that they are matching you based on skill level. But clearly, if I'm fighting a guy with a thousand stars, that's not exactly matching me based on skill level, right? Uh, but for the most part, they, they, they seem to do an okay job on, on that stuff, right? But in this particular case, uh, when you're fighting the AI... Really, referee? You wait that long? Really? Really? Uh, when you're fighting the AI, they don't necessarily uh, cooperate in the same way, and you end up with things like, you know, them increasing the difficulty for arbitrary, arbitrary reasons. Like, if I had to bust my ass to get those, you know, four stars and two signatures and to be able to kick out on the third count and all that stuff, like, this match should be, okay, we'll put it on the standard normal whatever, instead of whatever it happens to be on now because I'm getting my ass kicked, so just putting that out there. Anyway, so that makes me wonder, is that main event with either AJ or Brock or both, is that on Legend? Like, is is this on Hard? I can't tell. Um, but it sure as hell not easy. And I might actually lose and have to do it again off camera. I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyway, we aren't there yet. Uh, and Baron here is doing really good on his re reversals where I am just wasting mine. And also, I'm being forced to use them because, like I discussed in the previous video, uh, even though I have them turned off, 
Road to Glory, they're on. So I don't have an option there. Like, there's no... There's no option there. How did I miss that clothesline? I was right there. I was right in the thick of things. How did it get missed? What in the blue hell? Baron Corbin, wake up, Tom. Wake up, Tom. So you definitely end up with some different strategies playing online. You definitely do. Because, man, uh, you want to have your opponent exhaust all their reversals before you actually start doing things like finishers and signatures and that kind of stuff. But they will pretty much reverse it on you almost every time. as a two count. I knew it, but I wanted to do it anyway. End of days on Baron Corbin. Whereas this, 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 the CPU will not necessarily hit you with that reversal on every single signature finisher. So, uh, that's always nice. Because, man, it does get, like, alright, I, I gotta wear them out and get rid of their, their moves because, or their reversals. Because otherwise, it's gonna be a problem for me. Seriously. At least, oh, deep six from Baron Corman. Come back! The same thing with the comebacks is you gotta make sure your opponent has no reversals because otherwise you're not getting your comeback. It's just not gonna happen. They're gonna reverse it every single time. Baron, get up because you, my friend, will get clotheslined again and you, my friend, can meet your maker with the slug stabber in a three and a half star matchup, which is not too bad. All things both considered. Anyway, that, my friends, should put away one Baron Corbin. Three count. We're done here. Thanks, Baron. Appreciate it. So you can see, I'm, I don't know what level you go from prospect to superstar. It, it might be a hundred. I don't know. That dude had a thousand stars, so it was a lot. You have completed the main event and unlocked the weird snake head thing. The Viper, Randy Orton. The, the literal Viper. And a loot case. What is in my bronze loot crate? I bet it's things I don't care about. Taunts, VC, and hair. I want the big beard. I've opened so many of these stupid cases and have not gotten an accurate attack slug beard yet. It is extraordinarily frustrating. Put on a five-star match. Perform three signature moves in a match. Fight in more than five minutes. Perform three finishers, and put your opponent through the announcer's table. That is insane. So I was going to stop at the Baron Corbin bit, right? I was like, all right, I got that reward. I was done there. But then I played a little bit more of Road to Glory. I played, you know, a few, I played about another half an hour. And sure enough, found one person who actually wanted to do a five-star match, got all of the challenges met. And now I have the main event triple threat match with AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar. As a reminder, my character has an overall of like 70, whereas Brock and AJ are in the 90s. So I guess uh, let's enter the main event. I am going to need a James Ellsworth amount of luck to make my way to this one and actually pull out a win here. But I have seen there is a third item that you can win, a fox hat type thing. Now you would have thought, hey, it's almost Thanksgiving, like some kind of a turkey deal would be, you know, more appropriate for uh, the final bit of business. Uh, but, I mean, they do have the gobbledygooker stuff in the game. But for my career, it's all locked behind their stupid-ass loot boxes. But I've certainly discussed those enough uh, on this channel, on this show, and my disdain for the loot box economy in any video game unless you are a free-to-play mobile game. And in that case, sure, fine, have at it. Have at it. But when it comes to me, and when it comes to loot boxes, I don't want none. I don't want none. Anyway, the phenomenal AJ Styles. With some pyro in the game, but no longer in real life. So, there's that. Anyway. And coming to the ring and not accompanied by the advocate, Paul Heyman, because it is a triple threat match. It is the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, with his, with, with his own pyro, which is always appropriate and cool and always looks weird in real life when he has no pyro but that's budget cuts for you let's get it on aj styles immediately reverses the move immediately oh boy this is gonna be uh what is brock doing brock's like yep i don't even care i'm brock lesnar what does it matter what does it matter um and yeah if those two can fight each other 
and give each other what they're going to have on this Sunday, which is tonight. Uh, if they can uh, make that happen in this match and I can sustain as little damage as possible, uh, that would be preferable. Also, I'm clicking the stick. There it is. Oh, I was I was clicking the stick, and it wasn't giving me the uh, the prompt as to who I was facing, as I was obviously trying to face the phenomenal one here to get Brock. Really, I was gonna do a move finally, and you interrupt it like that. I don't really don't appreciate your Jimmy Johns and whatnot. I will have to sneak in a victory here. A very sneaky victory here is the only way forward for this matchup. AJ Styles, House of Fire. House of Fire. Uh, I need to definitely uh, get in my reversals here and not botch them. Come on. I hit both of those. Ushigoroshi. Uh, I hit both of those. I'm sorry. AJ calling for it. Phenomenal forearm coming up. Brock, help me out. Help me out, Brock. Help me out. Help. You didn't help me out. You didn't help me out, Brock. Uh, do you want to win or not? Thank you. Thank you. Comeback move. Somebody going to get a comeback. Beat him up. Beat him up. Break his neck. Break his neck. Alright, I'm in the red, but... I have a comeback. And Brock is like, nope, F5. Alright, no. So it's not an F5. But hey, I was a little concerned there. Because, you know, Brock Lesnar. I was... Really? Really? Really, Brock. Really. I think it's a bit too early for that business, beast. It's a bit too early. As much as you like to say, let's do this, it's a little too early. So there you go. Brock and AJ is where... Oh, I didn't even see that coming. AJ, House of Fire, still. He is just taking no prisoners in this matchup. Anyway, I'm just done. Like, I can't move right now, so that's fun. Attack Slug showing signs of life on the outside, despite being beat down the most in this match. I do have a signature. I don't want to waste it. I don't want to gain any more meter here because I want to use the signature and then use the finisher. So AJ just taunting his ass off. There we go. There we go. Discus clothesline. Discus clothesline. And then get him up. Get him up. Time four. Oh, a reversal. Because of course, of course he couldn't let me do a thing. Any individual thing is not going to happen with AJ Styles. Brain Busta! Um, so, alright. I mean, I'm not rolled out, so I have a chance of something. But also, didn't get to hit my finisher, which is a crying shame. Brock here is still kind of getting up there. Can AJ Styles give Brock Lesnar the Styles Clash? It looks like he can. It looks like he can. I might lose here. I can't move. Rope break. Rope break. Rope break. Rope break. Thank you, Brock, for kicking out, because I was late there. And hey, sometimes I feel like there's no rope break in Triple Threat, and so, so, sometimes I, I, I feel like there is, and the game is not consistent. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I'm wrong on, on, on a lot of things. What else is new? The crowd's chanting for Suplex City, and that might just happen here if I can't... Ah, uh, here it comes. I'm going to lose here. I'm going to have to lose and then try again. Because, you know, I'm level 70. I'm, I'm overall like 70 and they're overall in the 90s. So that's a problem. And also I hit... What? Really? An arm bar? Really, Brock? An arm bar? What are you, Del Rio? Destiny! AJ Styles get in here and break it up. Thank you. Thank you. Phenomenal one. Thank you. Brock's like, no, no. Not that with you, boy. Uh, spine buster to Lesnar. One. Two. Oh, no, no, one count. A oh, one count. Oh, good God. Yep. Good God almighty. Stomping him. Stomping him. Picking him up. Come on, AJ. Really? I'm the one you attack there. Attack Brock. Leave him into this nonsense. Leave me alone! What are you... Arm drag. Why is everybody picking on me? Why? I'm the weakest link. Well, th that's why. Because I am the weakest link in this match. So, of course they would. Of course they would. Pinfall. One. Brock's like, nope. What are you doing? What are you doing? 
Ref bump. Reversal. Nope. Hit a reversal. What is wrong with you? Oh, not again. German suplex to the outside. Okay. Let's let Brock do his thing and F5 AJ, or not, because he got a reversal. Pin the man. Flash pin. One. One count. One count. I am so far away from actually getting a pin on either man here. It is not going well. Not going well. Knee in the face. There we go. There we go. That's what I want. Just a solid knee plus to the face. Brock Lesnar. Get up. Get up. It is time for that discus. Boom! Oh, uh, I could have had AJ with a slug stabber. It could have been beautiful. He's stealing it! He's stealing it! Oh, Brock kicked out. Brock kicked out. Alright, well, that keeps me alive a little bit longer. But, man, that was real rough. That AJ just capitalized so beautifully there. And uh, was going to win that matchup. Seriously. Seriously. Early recovery. Don't you dare lose this Brock Lesnar. Don't you dare. There you go. I was going to say. Don't you dare. Don't you do it. AJ. I missed. I missed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Brock. I was facing him and hitting triangle. I had enough stamina. I don't understand why it didn't work. I really, really don't. And that I'm just missing reversals here. I'm just missing my freaking reversals. And it is a shame. AJ has two finishers right now. Two! He could hit both of us with that style flash. Or that phenomenal forearm and get the job done either way. Here we go. Slug stabber onto Lesnar. But, unfortunately, AJ might be a problem. Pin the man. Rope break. Now's a rope break! There was one before, and now there is. That makes sense. Alright, Lesnar, come on out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Count! One. Two. Two count. That was my best chance. For real, though. My best chance. Five star slug splash! On to Lesnar. Pin the man. One. Two. Two count. Alright, well, this is gonna go real bad for me. It's gonna go real bad for me. It's true. It's damn true. Stomping, stomping. Dropping that elbow. Doing that. Springboard! Missed it. Great. Great. Nope. Get your back broke. Side rushing. Leg sweep. Stop, AJ. DDT. Attack slug. House of fire here. House of fire. Discus. Pin the man. Pin the man on the discus. I don't even care. Do it. Do it. One. Two. Ah. I hate your guts. Lesnar. Lesnar. Don't you dare reverse this. This, this, this. this has to be it. This has to be it. AJ's out. On the ground. Lesnar. Slug stabber. On the ground. Oh my god. Don't do it to me. Don't. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Counter ref. One. Two. Oh my god. Good God. What do I gotta do? That's a dumb move. That's a dumb move. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. DDT again. To Styles. Styles rolling out. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. That's a one count. Two. Wait, what? Wait, what? I didn't even do anything. Okay, I'll I'll take it. I will take it. I will one hundred percent take it. That was hilarious. Congratulations! You completed the main event. So, cool. I guess I'll put that on my character for Thanksgiving or something. I don't know. In any event, I did all three. And they're all here on this channel. That's pretty good. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.